Praise the Lord and good morning. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Welcome to our Sunday morning prayer. God has been good. Blessed us to see another day. Amen. And we give God thanks and praise for that today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord has brought us through another week. Amen. And we're here on another Lord's Day. We thank God for uh, saving grace and keeping power. Praise the Lord. He not only saved us, but he keeps us. And we thank God for that today. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's it. Um, uh, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. Say, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassion faileth not. They are new every morning, and great is thy faithfulness. Amen. And may we thank God for his faithfulness to us today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on in. Welcome. Another Sunday. Praise God. I pray that you're having a, a, a glorious and a blessed day today. Praise God. We get ready for our Sunday. Our 12 noon service begin at 12 noon, obviously. Praise the Lord, and um, praise the Lord. If you're in the Brooklyn area, you could still probably make it here on time. Praise the Lord, amen. amen. We usually put the preacher up about 20, 20 minutes to one or quarter to one, so you have time to make it, amen. And we usually end uh, by uh, 1.30, 1.40, praise the Lord, and we usually out by 2 p.m., praise God. But we want to thank God for that. We thank God for those that had a birthday on last week. Amen. We know that our uh, evangelist Sheila Pettiford had a birthday. And our, our evangelist Beverly Smith had a birthday on this past week. And we wish them all God's best and uh, richest uh, blessings upon them and on their life. And may he add many more years. Amen, Amen to them in their life and their service. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. A lot of wonderful people born during this month of January. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for each and every one of you today. Praise the Lord. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 says, Call upon me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Psalms 107 verse 1 and 2. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. And his mercy endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom we have redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Avril Smith, Tarazin Lynch, Grace Reed, Amen. Sister Claudia Brown, praise the Lord. Brown Ryan, Amen. <laughs> Cecil Simpson, Amen. Praise the Lord, Amen. Praise God. We thank God. Yes, Sister Astrid also had a birthday, Amen. Praise the Lord this uh, this week. Amen. So we thank God for all of the birthdays. If I didn't call your name, you could put it up on the screen. Hopefully my wife or I will see it. Amen. To wish you a very happy birthday. Amen. I used to look forward to my birthday. So when I want to turn 18 or when I was going to turn 21. And amen. I consider them blessing. But now that I'm up here now, I, it's still a blessing. I don't be looking God, forward to birthdays be like I used to. It's still a blessing. It's a blessing, but uh, it's another day that when Lord I see, has kept you. When I see these numbers adding up, I'm like, Lord, slow down the clock, please. But, you know, it's a blessing to get older. And we thank God for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for that today. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we're still in the house of the Lord, and the Lord is keeping us during this pandemic. Praise the Lord. Seeing so many stories of people hooked up to ventilators and, amen, so many body bags and been to so many funerals this year. Amen. And last year, uh, I'm kind of like funeral out in a way. Amen. I don't want to go to another one. Amen. But um, we're still here, and we thank God for that. So many people. I think they said over 80 million people worldwide has caught the COVID and there's um, been about 
uh, 600 and something deaths. So that means a lot of people that had the COVID, they recovered. Amen. So we thank and praise God for that. Amen. More than 90 something percent. Now, you don't want to be one of those that, <laughs> you know, faced with the problem. But God is bringing a lot of them through. And for that, we are grateful and thankful to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are thankful to the Lord today. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have on um, my pink shirt. Praise the Lord. And my pink tie. My son used to tell me he don't wear these colors because um, they're not for men. <laughs> but I told him a real man can wear any color. <laughs> Amen, but uh, yes, uh, that was when he was young. Amen, he might have changed. God bless you, Sister Sheila Pettiford. Amen, welcome. God bless you all. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, my lovely wife is here. She have a birthday coming up uh, next month. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, it's also a milestone for her when she hit the birthday, but God is good and we're grateful that the Lord has kept her uh, thus far. Amen. And we appreciate the blessings of the Lord. Amen. All right. She's going to greet you now. Praise the Lord. And have words, whatever the Lord lay on her heart. Amen. Day 20 of the 21 days of fasting and prayer. Amen. We have continued to be in prayer. 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. And some of you that's up, 12 p.m. is also a good time to have some prayer. It's day 20. One more day to go for those on the 21 days. Amen. God bless. Praise the Lord. All right, Sister Gail. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. God bless you. So glad to be here with you this morning. Praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you. This uh, evangelist Pettifer just came on, so she might have missed when Bishop wished her a happy birthday. But happy birthday to you again, praise God. She got a beautiful little gift for her birthday. He's so adorable. His name is Tank. Praise God. She can't bring him anywhere around me because she will not be leaving with him. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> praise the Lord. She got a pretty little dog, praise God. God is good, praise God. And we wish that, that she has a lot of fun with him and enjoy him. They bring a lot of joy into your life, praise God. And we thank God for blessing her with him, praise God. And may she have many, many more happy birthdays, praise God. God is good, praise God. We thank God. Bishop says he doesn't look too much to forward to getting these birthdays, praise God. But I thank God, praise God, because I, I was just thinking last night, it took me a little while to fall asleep, and I was thinking about my 60th birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. And I said, wow, 60, who would have thought, you know? And I, I said to myself, you know, I'm just so grateful. I would be just so grateful just to make that number, praise God. Because I tell you, seven, eight years ago when I got diagnosed with lymphoma cancer and they said there was no cure for the type that I had. And then I, my health just started going down. It just started going down. And a couple years into it, it didn't look like I was going to make it. But God turned things around, praise the Lord. And I'm still here in Jesus' name by the grace of God. So God has been good to me, praise God. And I give God thanks and praise for each day that he wake me up, praise God. For every day that he gives me another day, I'm so grateful to him, praise God. Because I didn't have to be here. But he made a way, praise God. And I'm able to enjoy my life, praise God. I'm able to live it to the fullest, praise God. And I thank God because all the glory and the honor belongs to him. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for each and every one of you, praise God, because I know we all have a testimony of, of what the Lord has done for us, praise God. What he's something that he's done in our lives, praise God. God is so wonderful, praise God. He's not partial, praise God. He, What he's done for me, he will do for you, praise God. He steps in just when we need him most, praise God, because there's so many other times he has stepped in for me, praise God, and I thank him, praise God. So I put my trust in him, 
always praise God, no matter sometimes the emergency or what seems so important happens, praise God, and we panic and we may run to the doctor and we may run to our friend and run to this one and after we settle down, we find out they can't help us. And we end up having to run to the one that we should have run to in the first place. He's the only one that could do it for us. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy and that he's always there for us, praise God. And we can go to him in prayer, praise God. We don't have to go to the priest or the high priest or this one or the other, praise God. We can go to him in prayer for ourselves, praise God. God is a good God. Keep serving him. Keep living for him. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, we thank God for that wonderful testimony. Amen. For the Bible said that um, um, in Revelation, uh, it says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Praise the Lord. Your testimony still has great power for it encourages others. It lifts others and help others to know, praise God, that if he did it for you, he can do it for me too, praise the Lord. And we thank God for that today. Amen. As you know, during the week, we've been teaching from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Praise the Lord. And praise God, uh, uh, we've been doing summary and review. But today is like a um, Sunday school class where we um, have a golden text. You know, when you, those of you that went to Sunday school, you realize that they used to give you a golden text. Amen. And the golden text of this chapter, amen, is um, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, um, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank God for the word of God today. Amen. The verse before that is also a very important verse. He told him that I want to keep in memory um, to stir up the gift of God that is in you by the laying on of hands. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He wanted to remind him that, and I want to remind you that there are many of God's people that are gifted. They are talented. They are valuable. Amen. Praise the Lord for the kingdom of God. But many times people, they have a timid streak or they are shy or they, they say, let somebody else do it. Or, you know, I'd rather stay in the background. Amen. And I believe Timothy was just like that. Timothy say, well, you know, I know I can do certain things, but amen, you want to let others go forward. But the reason why the Apostle Paul um, wanted to remind Timothy of what was in him is because Timothy had an important role to play, not only in the church in Ephesus, but a role as being Paul's uh, successor. Amen. And he had to make sure that he continued in the sound doctrine, the sound teaching. Amen. And if he's going to do that, he had to be bold because many of the false teachers and the false prophets, they are bold in proclaiming, amen, their false teaching, wanted to bring them back under the law and wanted them to um, mix uh, their belief with the grace of God. And they wanted to mix it with the law. Amen. And, but the law and grace doesn't mix in this aspect. Amen. That the law says what you can do to get God's favor. But grace says, look at what Christ has already done for you. Amen. Because of his, his love towards you. So that's two different ways. So if you're under the law, you, are, you have a religion or a relationship with God that is merit-based and not um, based on what on his righteousness and on what Christ has done. Amen. So it's important, amen, that Timothy would be bold and confident. And that's why we talked about a spirit of boldness. When I speak about boldness, I'm not talking about proud or being proud or being arrogant or thinking that you know it all. Amen. Not in that aspect, but being bold in Christ and what Christ has done and in proclaiming the good news of the gospel, amen, for people to be saved, healed, and delivered by the power of the resurrected Christ. He needed him to be bold, praise God. Also, he had to have a spirit, amen, that 
uh, how the Bible said, by their fruits, you shall know them. Amen. Meaning that um, many times people would have a religious, like the Pharisees, they're religious. Amen. And they, they was a stickler to keep the law, but they left out certain elements like love for God and love for your neighbor. Because if you don't love your neighbor, the Bible says, how can you say you love God? whom you have not seen, and you can't love your neighbor who you see every day. Say so, amen. So Paul, amen, was leaving a great legacy to young, um, the Bishop Timothy, praise the Lord. Amen. He had to encourage him to be strong and to be bold. Praise the Lord. It's important for believers to be strong in the Lord and bold. Praise God with the confidence that, hallelujah, when you teach and preach God's word, the Holy Ghost promised to be with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was thinking about preaching that soon, but I'll, I'll, I'll maybe save that for Sunday. Amen. But he wanted him to be strong. He wanted him to be bold. He wanted him to develop. Now I know, amen, certain people have gifts and talents, but they just don't work because you're gifted and you're talented. You have to develop certain gifts. They're in you, but you don't develop them. Amen. I, I gave the illustration about my brother Terry, how he played the organ and how when brother Terry first started playing, he was not that good. He was he didn't know a lot of things that he needed to know. But you have he continued to practice. Amen. Praise the Lord. They asked a question. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? And the answer is practice, practice, practice. Amen. When you practice, you are developing your gift. Amen. So I, I know people that say they want the gift of healing or they want the gift of miracles. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or they want the power gifts. Praise God. But they're waiting. Amen. Silently thinking, well, God knows where I live. Maybe I'll just fast and pray. And when the gift come, I'll know it. But many times, praise God, when God anoints you, you got to use it. Amen. And when you use it, you are developed. Look at David. When Amen, David was anointed to be king over Israel, praise the Lord. Amen. And uh, Samuel anointed him with oil. David didn't ascend to the throne immediately. Some commentators said it was another 17 years before he became king. But what he was doing in the meantime, he was developing that gift that was in him. And when he came up against uh, Goliath, he said, um, or, he, or he was telling Saul before he went up against Goliath. And he said, a bear came up against me and I slew him. And then a lion and I slew the lion. Amen. What David was doing was developing his gift, praise the Lord, developing his faith, developing his love for God's people, even just by watching sheep. It represents the, the flock of God or the people of God. Amen. And it showed where David's heart truly was. Amen. And when God knows your heart, that's when he can truly use you. Many people, praise God, uh, they want to be rich. And being rich is not necessarily a sin. But many times people begin, they get rich and they forget God. They forget, mm -hmm. amen, the purpose of true riches. And they get rich and they isolate themselves. They hide from everybody else. And that's why people think that I'm a little bit off when I say, I don't want to win the lotto. Amen. Or hit the Powerball. They say, why not? You would get all that money. It would so disrupt my life that um, I don't want it. I don't want it. So I don't have nothing to do with it because I don't it can have some positive effects. But when I think about it, I think of all the negative uh, uh, I would have to quit Amen. Being a pastor, I would have to hide from my relatives. Praise God. I would so many things would I would have to change my phone number. Amen. Oh. I have to move. Nobody could find me. Praise the Lord. And all of that things I said, I wouldn't want, you know, people think it looks glamorous, but you have to develop. Now there's others that have money and they become what they call philanthropists. They give money away to to like Betty White love animals and certain other people give to the homeless or they give to um, certain charities, praise God, that can help other people, praise God. And I think that would be my purpose. If I was blessed, I want to use my blessing 
to be a blessing to someone else. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember what it said in, the, in one of the previous chapters. It said, remember this. You brought nothing into this world. And it's certain you can carry nothing out. Amen. So nobody can take. There's never been a hearse truck or a, a, a moving truck following a hearse. Amen. Amen. When you bury, they could bury you with a million dollars. You can't spend it. Praise God. So you got to learn how to lay up treasures where they can profit you. Amen. When you give in the kingdom of God and you give for the work of the Lord and you give to charitable causes, amen, to people that really help you. Look at, uh, in here in New York, we had a, a, a whole family, amen, a couple of families die in a fire and they raise over a million dollars for this family. And me and my wife talked about it this morning. We saying, I hope the family really gets that money. Amen. Because many times people collect money and they say, oh, we have administrative costs and we have this. And the people that really need the money, they never get it. I remember when Haiti had the earthquake. I believe it was the earthquake. And they raised, I believe, uh, Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and others raised like $2 billion or something like that dollars for Haiti. But I've been to Haiti after that. And I said, where did all that money go? I don't think it went to the people. And where is that money? So people, you know, people sometimes raise money, but they don't have the, the right purpose in heart. But I believe, praise God, that if God's going to bless you, he bless you to bless someone else. Amen. So Timothy was gifted, but he had to um, be bold. He had to be strong. Amen. Sometimes you need to stand up and you got to be strong in the face of opposition. Amen. You got to stand up for Jesus. You got to, amen, don't be intimidated by the devil. Praise the Lord. And then we get to verse, after you stir up the gift of God that is in you, amen, make sure that whatever you do, you do for God's glory and for God's kingdom. Amen. Many people, praise God, they're gifted and talented, but they use it to um, benefit themselves and not really the kingdom of God. Praise God. But when, amen, you are, truly have a gift from God, you recognize the source and you're willing to give back, praise God, and be a blessing to other. You want to fulfill the purpose for which those gifts has been given. Amen. You want to use them to the glory of God. You want to stir up the gift that God has already given you and use it for his glory and for his honor. Amen. I know sometimes we're in the church, amen, and mm -hmm. praise God, I hear Brother Terry get on the uh, electric piano, and I say, wow, that sounds so beautiful. Amen. But that's a gift that was developed. Amen. And when, I believe with it, when God gives you a gift, talent, ability, praise God, is used to build up the kingdom and to bless the people of God. Amen. Praise God. And when you can do that, it's a blessing. Now, briefly, we want to go over the next verse that come over, in, and this is the golden text. Amen. You know, when you're in Sunday school, they give you the golden text. And the golden text is 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now, what it said God did not give you. And let's go to that first. God did not give you the spirit of fear. So if you have a spirit of fear, guess what? It doesn't come from God. Amen. For God does not give us the spirit of fear. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you got to realize, amen, that fears come from within. Fears come um, because of our uh, carnal nature. Amen. We are afraid. Some people, uh, you know, like me, uh, I wouldn't say I have a irrational fear of snakes, but I see people put snakes around their neck and I say, that's not for me. Amen. I see other people, they see uh, one guy put his hand inside the lion cage and the lion nearly bit his, his whole arm off. Amen. I, I remember, amen, uh, when I went to Africa, they was telling us, um, don't put any, your glasses and everything, um, okay. put it away because the baboons, they snatch everything. And they was telling us how this, a uh, Japanese lady came to um, take pictures and the baboon came and he was friendly, nice to her. Next thing you know, he snatched her camera, ran off into the, the woods. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, amen. There are certain fears that are necessary. If you have a fear of fire, you have a fear 
of, um, you know, um, maybe getting hit by a car or fear. Many people have the fear of dying, amen, or f different other fears. And sometimes those fears help us, amen, or they protect us. Praise the Lord. Any one of us put our hand near a fire, we quickly um, draw it away because that's a rational fear. But Paul is speaking about some irrational fear that when we're gifted and we're talented, we sit on them and we don't use them. And Paul is saying, God did not give you that fear. Whatever you do for the Lord, whether it's big or whether it's small, is still useful to the kingdom of God. Amen. There are no big eyes and little use. Everybody in the kingdom is valuable. So God did not give us the spirit of fear, but what he gave us, the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. We need power to proclaim the word. We need power to do God's work. We need power to represent the kingdom of God. Amen. Because God's power will support you when you do his work. Jesus said, amen. Behold, I am with you always even unto the end of the age. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So when we do God's work, he is there to support us, to help us, to empower us, to give us strength. Amen. To do the work of the Lord. And then he give us power and a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. A sound mind mean, has the idea of a mind that is calm and self-control. Amen. You know, when your mind starts to get away from you, that's not God. Amen. Sometimes, I know sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night and I have things on my mind, amen, or things that um, um, causing stress or anxiety, I find that I can't fall back to sleep because my mind is, um, my mind is um, overworking. Praise God. I have to learn to cast all of your cares upon him because he cares for you. Amen. And what I realize, amen, that when your mind, when these stress and these anxiety comes upon you, amen, they are not God given. Amen. These, these are the tricks of the devil that try to, amen, let your mind be out of control. But God has given you the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that's what we're going to end on today. Praise the Lord. Oh, I forgot love. Power and love. Amen. Love is so vitally important because every church, every family, every relationship, amen, every one of us need love. Praise the Lord. The Bible said there abided these three. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It said, but the greatest of these is charity and love. Every relationship, if I'm in a relationship with God, it must be a love relationship. If I'm in a relationship with my wife, it must be a love relationship. A relationship with my church, it should be a loving relationship where I love and serve the church, not for what I can get, but what I can give. Praise God. Hallelujah. Love is so vitally important because love is not easily provoked. Love is not puffed up. Love is amen, praise the Lord, is a, the agape love of God, amen, that is not selfish, doesn't look out for his own interest, but looks out for the interests of others, and that is true love, amen. And all of us as believers, we need to exhibit the love of God, not just say it with our mouth, but exhibit it in our actions, praise the Lord. So, Amen. Praise God. Let's remember to stir up the gift of God that is in you and remember that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for, amen, the word of God today. Praise the Lord. And, oh, amen. I went a little long, but we're going to close in prayer in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for that excellent teaching. Praise God. When weight kept them down, science helped them soar. Go ahead, go ahead. When morning... Praise the Lord. God is good. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. We're going to go to God in prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name, O oh God. We give you glory, honor. Hallelujah, Jesus. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, there is none like you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your wonderful name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for how you woke us up. Hallelujah. Today, O oh God. In our right minds, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for how you kept us, O oh God. Hallelujah. There's so many didn't wake up this morning, O oh God. Hallelujah. There's so much going on around us, O oh God. Hallelujah. We hear about so much shooting and so much crime, O oh God. Yes, but Lord. Lord, you kept us in the midst of it all, oh God. And we want to give you thanks and praise, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We bless your holy name, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for how you built a hedge. Hallelujah around us, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Amen. We thank you for how you protected us and kept us another week, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for how you blessed our going out and our coming and in, our oh coming Lord God. In. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for protecting our families, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for providing a roof over our head, oh God. Yes, Lord. For clothes on our back, food on our tables, yes. oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for salvation, oh God. Yes. We thank you for deliverance, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for healing, oh God. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God, we thank you for our brothers and our sisters, oh God. Yes. In the Lord, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that we can come together, hallelujah, before you, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, as one, oh God, in one accord, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We bless your wonderful name, oh God, hallelujah, Thank Jesus. You. Lord, we love you, we adore you, oh God, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I love you, Lord, I love My you, Lord. My God, hallelujah, you've been so good to us, oh yes, God, Lord. hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord, we don't deserve it. Hallelujah. We thank you for your mercies, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for forgiveness, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For how you spared us, oh God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. For how you gave your life, oh God, for us, oh God, that we might be saved, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we are so grateful, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you for making a way, oh God. You made a way. To be no way, oh God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for touching our bodies, oh yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you for healing, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We claim healing. Hallelujah. In the name of, In the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those of us that need healing, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we're standing on your word, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We're standing on your promises, oh God. Hallelujah, yes, yes, Jesus. Yes. My God, we trust in you, oh God. We trust Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, for what you say, Lord, we know you're going to do, oh yes, God. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're able to fulfill. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, We Lord. thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we call it done. Hallelujah, Jesus. We walk by faith. Hallelujah. Not by sight, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We claim our healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Whatever we stand in need of, whether it be finances, Hallelujah. Whatever it be, hallelujah, Jesus. We claim it in the name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Peace of mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. We claim it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We bless your wonderful name, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. 
you for your man serving that brought forth the teaching on this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for you to bless him, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. That you would use him in a mighty way, oh God. Thank Hallelujah, you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, that you would minister to him and through him, Thank oh you, God. Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of in Jesus. The name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the man servant that's going to bring forth the Thank word you, on this Hallelujah. morning, noonday service, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. My God, that you would speak to him, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give him the word. Hallelujah. That you have for your people today, oh God. Yes. Use him in a mighty way, oh God. Yes, use him, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of in Jesus. The name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let self be slain, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. And praise Hallelujah. the only me, oh God. Praise Hallelujah. The have your way, oh God. Have Hallelujah, your way. Jesus. Have your way. Have your way. Be glorified, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord, to come with a made-up mind, yes. oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. To serve you in spirit and in truth, spirit oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. To seek you, oh God, hallelujah. You thank only, you, oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. My God, we thank you, oh we God, thank you, hallelujah, Lord. hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we pray, hallelujah, for those, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. That come, hallelujah, seeking you, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, They hallelujah. are their last with, oh God, and they don't know where else to turn, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, hallelujah. But you, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. You Lord. are able, oh God. Hallelujah. You're able. To do hallelujah. All things. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. You can do all things but fail, oh yes, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you. You Lord. are their keeper, oh God. You are their provider, oh yes, God. Lord. You are their deliverer, oh God. Hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You are our all in all, oh God. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, yes. Father, we, thank we thank you, you. Lord God. We hallelujah. Give you praise. Jesus. And glory. Hallelujah. We praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We pray, oh God, that you would bless those that are on their way this yes, morning Lord. to Hallelujah. service, oh Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Provide them safe travels, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Help them Thank to get you, here safely Hallelujah. and to get home safely, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of in Jesus, the mighty we name thank of you, Jesus. Lord God. Thank you, Those Lord. that will be listening over the air, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Give them an air, oh God, to hear. Hallelujah. Yes, yes Lord. What the Spirit is saying, oh God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Help them to receive a word from you, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Let them receive the healing right where they are, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name the of Jesus. Name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Remember Sister Barbara, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Remember Thank you. Brother. Tony Marrero. Brother Marrero, oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Deacon Burgess, yes, oh God, yes, hallelujah. Yes, Sister hallelujah. Dawn, oh God, yes. the Robinson family. Yes, Lord. Lord God, hallelujah. Sister Daly, oh God, yes, hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Remember your people, oh God, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. Jesus. You know them all by name, oh God, all by numbers, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that your will would be done in their lives, Father. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. be glorified. Be Hallelujah. Glorified. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I decree and declare, hallelujah, that you receive, hallelujah, hallelujah what God Jesus. has promised hallelujah. you, amen, that today will be hallelujah. your day, hallelujah. hallelujah, to receive from God's hand, whatever yes, the Lord. need hallelujah. might be, hallelujah. you would receive it by faith, hallelujah, thank you, and Jesus. Father, we thank you in advance, yes, because Lord. we believe you, that Lord. we have received, because we have asked it in, in the Jesus mighty name, name of Jesus Christ, and Father, we thank you. We, we give you praise. You, we amen you, and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We give God thanks and praise for this morning. Praise the Lord. This time of fellowship in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for all of you that have joined us amen. and have been a blessing. Praise God and receive the blessing. Amen. Through the teaching. Praise God that you have received today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember that we have been... um. Um, receiving first fruits for this month of January. Praise God. And those of you that desire to be a blessing, praise God to give in the house of the Lord. The Bible said that if you give, it will be given back unto you. Good measure, 
pressed down, shaken together. Praise God. Shall men give into your bosom. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as you give into the service of the Lord, the Bible said, he that sow it sparingly shall reap sparingly, but he that sow it bountifully shall, amen, reap bountifully. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the information is on the screen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you want to give by Zell, which is the easiest way and one of the best ways, because if you give through Zell, you, there's no, um, they don't take anything out of it. If you give on one of the other forms, amen, they, they charge a fee. Praise the Lord. But Zelle is free of charge. Amen. But if you, can't, if you don't have Zelle and you have PayPal, amen, you're able to give. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way. You can send a check. Amen. And the address is on the screen. First Triumphant Church of Jesus Christ. P.O. Box 332, Brooklyn, New York, 11212. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank God for that today. Praise the Lord. We pray, amen, that you would have a blessed and a wonderful day. May amen. God's riches and best blessing be yours. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we pray, praise God, hallelujah, that God will meet your every need amen. according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. In New York here, it's very cold outside. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, you know, I just went from the house right to the car and it wasn't too bad. And then I went, amen, and praise God, came to the church. And so I didn't feel really cold. Amen. But um, if you got to wait for the bus or you got to take the train, amen, it's cold. But amen. Don't forget to put some likes, some thumbs up, some hearts. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to tag and to share. Praise the Lord and get ready for the surf, the service at 12 noon. Amen. May God bless you. We want to say that we love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Amen. And we'll see you next week. Same time, same channel. You too, Amen. Evangelist Pettiford. God bless you. God bless everyone. We love you. Have a blessed day. Amen. Usually around this time, I hear Apostle Smith warming up, <laughs> but I don't hear him today. <laughs> Amen. But he'll be here shortly, because they usually start right on time, 12 noon. Amen. Praise the Lord. So God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow, 12 noon. Amen. All of you join us. Amen. If you have a friend, invite one. Praise the Lord. And if they're free during the 12, the noon hour, amen, we'll be on at 12 noon teaching Amen from 2 Timothy chapter 2. Amen. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Amen. God bless you all. But there's a blushing Harris. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Carol Bailey. Amen. God bless you this wonderful morning. Amen. Have a great day. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. You are God all by yourself. Amen. I know some of you know that I had some dental work done on Tuesday and it's still bothering me. And I have to go do the other side. I'm thinking about calling up and canceling because this is too much. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Uh, they told me I only needed the right side, but I guess the doctor want the money. So he want to do both sides. But this is a lot. Amen. Maybe I'll do the next side. Uh, few months from now but this is too much amen god bless you <laughs> amen i guess i gave you too much information there <laughs> but god is good amen have a great day uh yes so we see you on tomorrow praise god amen amen keep us in your prayers as we amen. pray for you in jesus name